Hey guys, today has been a huge day for us. We just had our neighbors over for a few hours talking um, life stuff and everything. If you have not subscribed to our family channel yet over at youtube.com slash schmoovies, go subscribe over there because we have big news coming on Friday for you. Um, and you don't want to miss that out. So I wish I could tell you guys tonight on my channel, but we're going to save it for schmoovies. What I want to talk to you about is something that happened on Saturday this last week. Most of you probably know that I am pregnant with twins. It was a surprise. We have four kids already that are ages five, four, two and a half, and oh goodness, how old is Toby? 11 months now. We were planning on having quite a big break before baby number five and six came, and we were not planning on them coming at the same time at all. And so life has been crazy lately trying to figure everything out. So we have made a huge decision. We are in the process of another huge decision now. And, um, but it, the things are coming around. Things are starting to take shape, and it's exciting. So, Saturday. I woke up Saturday just with so much anxiety and not expecting it. Like, I I felt like I've been pretty good at being able to just, um, I don't know, just kind of rest in the fact that we weren't going to know where we were going to move until today. And because I, I felt like I got a word from God um, two months ago when we were starting to realize... Um, not even two months ago, whenever we found out that we were pregnant with twins, for sure, um, and starting to talk about needing to move and everything, and making lists of um, prior or making lists of what the benefits would be of living where. But then I got a word from God saying, "You're not going to find out until the middle of July, after you go to Oklahoma and visit with your family, and after." Um, your Bible study Israel story is over and our Bible study was supposed to be over on July 7th but it got pushed back a week because there was one week where most of us were out of town and so they just canceled it that week and extended it a week so instead of being done on the 7th it was done on the 14th and when that happened I just kind of chuckled because God had already said like we won't know until the middle of July after Israel story is over and I was like Okay, God, you can't get much more the middle of July than July 14th and then having an affirmation on July 15th for where we're going to be moving. And it happened. And, and that just, that blows me away. So cool um, to be able to hear from God and, and trust his word um, and to know, like to trust that he does speak to me with some with some of that stuff. It doesn't happen all the time. Um, but when it does, I'm very thankful for it. So uh just very cool. But so Saturday came around, knowing that we weren't gonna have an answer until at least today. And um just woke up with all this anxiety. Like so bad that I hadn't experienced that um in about four months since I had the postpartum depression and was just like, I don't know, just like wondering why that anxiety had come so strongly. And when I was going through postpartum depression, I had people praying for me. And I was also using some essential oils to help um, lift my mood a little bit. But those essential oils are not safe to use while I'm pregnant. So I was like, well, that's out of it. So I had a friend um, text me, who it's been a couple of weeks since I've talked to her, and ask me how I was doing. And at first I was like, oh, I'll text somebody else that I've been talking about the situation um, to and, and ask them to pray for me. But then I thought, you know what? God, I'm pretty sure you had this friend text me on purpose at this time. And so I told her what I was dealing with and everything. And so she was praying for me. Um, if you watched our family vlog, we had gone, or Tim had taken the kids into the library before we went to the pool to go swimming, and I stayed back in the car um, with Toby so Toby could nap, and so I could just read my Bible because I was just I was just telling her I was like I was on the verge of tears and I was just experiencing so much anxiety and I needed to get rid of it, 
and I didn't have the oils to lean on, but I did have friends to pray for me, and I had scripture to read. And I read through um, quite a few scriptures on trusting God and getting over anxiety and not being anxious about stuff, and two of them really stuck out to me, and I want to share those with you tonight. Um, one of them I posted on Instagram with a picture of the ultrasound of the babies, and that one said, it's Romans fifteen thirteen. It says, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And that was just like, yes, like, that's what I want. I want to trust God in this. Like, I really didn't understand the anxiety that had hit me. It felt like it came out of the blue. Um, like, knowing the situation of like, well, yeah, <laughs> No wonder I'm having anxiety over this, but it was just like I thought I was trusting in him. Um, but I think I really just needed the time to just really dig into scripture and and hold on to those truths. So that was that stuck out to me. And then another one um, really stuck out to me, which is Psalm 40, verses 1 through 3. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put his trust in the Lord. And that last verse right there was what, like, I was like, yes, like, that is what I want to come of this. That, like, He's given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Like, I was talking to someone the other day. I feel like God has, all my life, used me and put me in different situations. Um, not necessarily for me, but to be able to go through these situations so that I can turn around and help somebody else that's going to go through the similar situation. And, um, and that just, to see hopefully by telling the story of the twins coming and Tim and I having to decide where we're going to live and all the changes that are going through this, like my biggest hope for this is that people will see what we're going through and see how amazing God is and, and turn to him because that like, I want God to get the glory for all of this that we're going through and um, and to be a part of that, for God to use me as one of his tools to um, for people to be amazed at who he is and turn to him, like that's that's really cool. Like I really I I feel very thankful to hopefully be a part of that. So so those really were really uplifting. And after I had found those scriptures and like reading them over and over and over again, um, like that, I felt my anxiety just go away and uh, was so thankful that I could turn to scripture and that I didn't need the essential oils. I had people praying for me. I had my scripture that I was just meditating on and praying and um, it was doing better after that. So I just want to encourage you, if you're going through anything, to search scripture um, for what you're going through. What I used to find these scriptures was the um, Bible app on my phone and uh, and search through the different Bible studies. And so I actually went through like a five-day Bible study just reading all the scriptures that were in there because I had like over an hour in the car and was like, I'm just going to keep on reading these scriptures. Like forget it that it says like I'm supposed to read this one tomorrow. Like I'm just going to read them all now. And I actually encourage you, if you're struggling through something, um, just to turn to scripture and, and pray and thank God uh, for the blessings that he has given you and thank him for what's to come. So, I don't know. Um, but go and check out our family channel on Friday to get the big news of where we are moving. We made the decision. And... Um, and then continue to follow because there's more decisions to be made. So I hope you guys are having a good evening. i got to get now and scrub some dishes before I put them in the dishwasher. Because um, that's going to get loud and I can't talk to you guys while that's going on. So.
but I hope you have a good night. I'm going to go upload this actually first before I get that going so that can go while this is uploading. All right, sorry for a late video tonight, but we had a fun time. Um, Tim and I had a great date today that you'll see on Friday, and then neighbors coming over and visiting and talking and everything. So I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss our neighbors so much. I, we've really enjoyed the street that we live on and the neighbors that we have across the street from us. Subscribe if you haven't already. On Tuesdays, I am doing my twin pregnancy updates on Twin Tuesday. And on Wednesdays, you get to find out what God's teaching me. I will see you next week. Bye.